on behalf of Richard Neville, Leona Warwick, the cake maker, and my master, I welcome you all here this day. Indeed, my lords and ladies, it gladdens my heart to see so many of you here. Will you join us here at Warwick at the most dangerous and bloody of times? Edward of York, as this day, master upon the capital, he has taken the crown, he has taken the throne, and styles himself the king of all the English. This will not be allowed to stand, this will not be allowed to pass. There will be a reckoning, for truly, truly, the War of the Roses rages on. Now we here at Warwick, we support the House of Lancaster, and I will give my dying breath to see the true King of England, Henry, placed back upon that regal chair. And with that in mind, I call upon you all to join me, to be my force and my power, as we take on the might of Edward and his perfidious army. So, my lords and ladies, I ask you all, are you with me? I need to hear your voice into the heavens. I said, are you with me? Yay! In that case, we have strength, we have numbers, but to ensure our victory, we will take with us the world's largest, the world's most powerful. Can I hear the biggest, the loudest cheer for the Warwick Castle trebuchet? Yay! Early such machines would use beasts of burden, horses and oxen, teams of these animals be hinged to the rear of the machine, and by dint of their brawn alone, they would pull down on the heavy throwing arm. And in a very similar fashion this afternoon, we are going to be using a medieval tractor to pull down on the throwing arm. It has to be said that in the Middle Ages, taking such animals onto a battlefield zone is fraught with difficulties, costs you money, manpower, and resources. And also, those animals, when they get to that battlefield zone, those seeds can go on for weeks, months, or in some cases, years. Before you know it, those animals are filled in your hungry soldiers, leaving your war machines idle. So another answer was sought, and another answer was found, and this would have been that answer. This is a man-powered trebuchet. Because of the weather that we've had today, the wheels are just a little too wet to have been walking inside them. Hopefully for the 8.30, we will have dried them out enough where people can walk in them. But for the moment, we've elected to use this machine to help us pull the arm down. But the way it should work is quite simple. We would have two men in the wheel here, two men in the wheel opposite. As they walk those wheels, there is a, a central axle made of oak. That axle has a rope that will be attached to it, and the other end will be attached to the throwing arm. Indeed, the rope that you can see going back to the tractor would in fact be spooling around this central axle. So the men's action of walking in the wheels turns the axle, spooling the rope, pulling down on the throwing arm. Hopefully I've made it sound simple. The tractor indeed has made it look incredibly easy, but it's not. It's back-breaking work. It's a real labour. As you walk in those wheels, the lactate builds up in the legs, burning with every step. The breath will catch in the chest. The limbs get heavy. And add insult to injury as you walk in those wheels, which are constructed of, of side struts and flats. The light shuts through every one of those flats, blinding you temporarily every second. Add to that the nausea that is induced, and it is indeed a most inhospitable place to be. Also, what makes it so difficult is that counterweight, that box that has risen out of the heart of the machine. That box, when empty, is made of oak and weighs one ton. We've got five tons of ballast in there. Six tons would be risen in a matter of about six minutes. Truly an impressive sight with the most basic of medieval technologies. Now the arm, as you can see, is locked down. Our trebuchet master works quickly and industriously at the back to ensure his safety we have placed a metal chain on and a pin that will hold the trigger immobile. Before we launch this machine, we have to remove both of those safeties, but more of that later. What we now need to do is talk about the missile. What are we going to launch? What are we going to use? Now, this morning, when we test-fired this machine, 
we sent an 18 kilogram boulder sailing down the island 220 meters at a mere speed of 150 miles an hour 18 kilos though is nothing medieval man would use something closer to 80 kilos per loose imagine one loose every six minutes that's from one machine that's 10 looses in an hour from one machine if you've got 10 machines that's a hundred releases in an hour you would smash a castle wall to ruin you will form a breach in that wall you will send your men right through and then you will take over that town on the face of it a foolproof plan but it does have problems firstly you may lose an awful lot of men trying to get through that breach and defending it also when you take over that town or that citadel you are the one responsible for building up the walls repairing the damage that you have done so maybe there's another option rather than attack the buildings why don't we attack the people and again this machine offers us that we can use the carcasses of animals leave them rotting in the sun get them rank and putrid and send them sailing over the walls spreading disease get clay pots fill it full of the waste material from the latrines send that sailing over the castle walls spreading disease and terror we can take the heads from our enemies and send them over it make it completely inhospitable inside a castle but that's a slow burner that takes time and there's no guarantee of success really if you want quick and you want to be and you want to be thorough the best way to do is to burn Make an example of one town. Make an example of one city and everyone else will bend. Everyone else will acquiesce. What we do is we send fireballs sailing over a castle wall. We burn everything out. We leave behind us a black and ruinous stump of a city. And everyone knows that we mean business. You are the object and everybody else will learn. My lords and ladies, I suggest this day in the gathering gloom that if we are going to test this machine that we should use fire so i ask you would you care to see some fire yeah. oh so that's a no all right i'll cancel it don't worry i'll cancel trebuchet master stand down cancel the fire they don't want it Do you want to see some fire? Yeah! We're on. My lords and ladies, this machine is 18 metres high, weighs 22 tonnes, made of ash, made of oak. It's a tension fit. The only bits that nailed together are the wheels. Each wheel comes off as a separate unit. Everything else is components. We place all these pieces onto barges or onto wagons, and we sail it or transport it over land. And when we get to our destination, within seven days, this monster will be up and running, fulfilling its deadly purpose. And we are now ready to fulfill this purpose. I need your help. Firstly, we need to free the arm. So everybody here, after three, you have to shout, remove the chain, as loud as you can, please. One, two, three. Remove the chain! Right, the trigger is now held in mobile. We need to actually free the trigger. To do that, we need to remove a pin. Everybody here, after three, shout, remove the pin. One, two, three. Remove the pin! most important of commands, as loud as you can, we really need to hear you, we can barely hear you over here, after three, shout, add fire, one, two, three, add fire, add fire, set that boulder ablaze, now we're going to count down, as loud as we can, from five down to one, and then we shout loose, everybody with me, here we go, five, four, three, My lords and ladies, with power like this, and you at my side, victory is assured. Good more than this. Much more than this. What an incredible machine. And if I may say,
say, we here at Warwick are very lucky to have one of the few men in the country that's qualified to operate this machine. So please, fill your lung with air. Let him know you appreciate his efforts. Can I hear the biggest, the loudest cheer for the Triple Team after Warwick Castle, Mr. Richard Brown? Yeah. Hanging at 6.30 with the fire jousting here at 7.30. We're so 